you want to texture paint inside Blender, but you don't know which texturing program to choose? Well, then you're in the right place. Here's my top three list of texturing programs with Blender. So in Blender, the texturing capabilities out of the box is a bit lackluster. So to compensate for this, there's some great tools we can use to make up for this. I recently did a video on has paint layers, but you guys did not let me off the hook with another program called Yuku Paint. So I got to test it again and here's the verdict. First up, Yuku Paint. You guys really wanted me to check this one out, so here we are, but I understand why. Yuku Paint is a great contender for Substance Painter and it has much of the same approach to texturing, especially PBR texturing and a lot of functionalities like being able to generate your own textures. It has the most important tools such as baking, layering, and masking. However, it goes the extra mile and gives you a lot of control over your textures and the different color channels. It's a great tool if you want a strong tool that also gives you a lot of control and it has really everything that you need. With Yuku Paint, you also have the ability to load your images from asset browsers or your file browser, similar to how you do it in Substance Paint. Another cool feature is also you can add things like modifiers. You can create something like a color ramp, which is really useful. One of the upsides of this is also that it's being regularly updated and it's free. Next up is Has Paint Layers. This is a great tool for painting straight out of the box. It's very simple and it's a powerful tool and has all the things you need like baking, layering, and masks. You can also create your own layers just like you can in Yuku Paint. Another thing that I like about Has Paint Layers is that you can easily also add filters to your layers. It has everything you typically need that can be used for PBR texturing as well, just as for MPR texturing. Third up is Substance Painter. Substance Painter is a great tool and it's really the industry standard. It has a big library of PBR textures already ready to drag and drop onto your mesh. It also has a wide array of different alpha masks and stencils that comes in handy, especially when it comes to tweaking your texture parameters and getting the look that you want. There's very few that can rival Substance Painter, but there are some few exceptions and really the only downside is the price tag. Another neat feature inside Substance Painter is that inside of it, it has its own rendering engine iray this is really neat if you want to render your object and check out how it's going to look before you fully commit with your textures it also is great for generally visualization and for me it's a big plus that is my top three list now disclaimer before we go into the summary i did not mention every tool that can be used with blender when it comes to texturing there are many tools out there and these are really the top three tools that I personally recommend and why. So all in all, here's my personal opinion and recommendation. Number one, if you're looking for a tool right out of the box to texture paint with that is simple and user friendly, as paint layer is my go-to tool. I'm not saying you can't do this in other programs or do the same things. But if you are into MPR or anime shading, this is a great option. The big upside is that it's free and it has the core functionalities that you need, like layering and masking, baking, etc. So after using this for a while, I can't really think of much that I miss using. Number two, if you're looking for a tool that has a little bit more juice, especially if you want that little bit of extra data, you can go over and control over your color channels. You can paint has that a little bit of extra especially when it comes to what type of layer you want and what kind of thing you want to generate. But really, it's very similar. It does most of the things. It's just really interface is very different. And personally, I think it's a little bit complex and that is the major downside of this tool. Just like as paint layer, it is also free. Now, lastly, we have Substance Painter. It's the industry standard and a great tool for anyone that's serious about getting into the industry or just want a really powerful tool. That being said, more and more companies are starting to use Blender, so take it with a grain of salt. However, this tool is very diverse and at its core, it is very strong. You have so much control over your texturing and parameters, you can do really anything with it. And it's especially strong if you do PPR texturing. 
the main downside with it it's $25 and up monthly however if you are a student you can get it for cheaper and really the other downside might be that it looks a little bit daunting at first but give some time and you'll learn it in no time now this was not really a strict one to three top to bottom list this was more like my top three i think all of them are recommended all in all whichever tool you decide to use all of them are really great options and i don't think you can go wrong with any of them now this is going to be it for this video and i hope you found it helpful if so leave a like and a comment let me know what you think and i see you in the next one